Hello student. In this video, uh, we are going to discuss about the topic derivative of an implicit function. So in our last uh, video, we have discussed the derivative. Uh, how can we differentiate partially function with the help of a chain rule? And now this is the case when we are going to discuss how to differentiate an implicit function. So firstly, we should know that what is an implicit function. So let us consider an example to understand the same. Suppose uh, we are considering a function, say, f of x, y is equal to x k plus y k is equal to 1. This is the equation of a circle. So in this case, uh, we are having a function which depend upon two variable, but in this case, it is not possible to express any one of the variable as a function of other. For example, if I calculate the value of y, then the value of y is plus minus square root of one minus x square. So we are not able to get a unique value of y as a function of x with the help of this relation. So if it is not possible to express any one of the variable as a function of other, and that kind of function is called an implicit function. So the general representation of an implicit function is f of x, y is equal to c in case of a function of two variable. And in case of function of three variable, it can be represented as f of x, y, z equal to c. So like we can consider a three variable function as x square plus y square plus z square equal to one. So in this case, again, it is not possible to get the value of x in term of y or z or y in term of x and z or z in term of x and y. So these two are the representation of an implicit function. Now the question is, how can we find out the derivative of an implicit function in this case, right? So one of the method is we can differentiate directly uh, with respect to one of the variable assuming the other variable as a function of first variable, right? So for example, I want to differentiate x k plus y k equal to one, and I want to calculate dy upon dx. So what can I do? I simply differentiate it with respect to x and assuming y as a function of x. Assuming y as a function of x. So in this case, we can get if I differentiate with respect to x, the entire expression, so we can consider it like d by dx of one. So in this case, its derivative is two x. Derivative y square. It is we are assuming it as a composition of the function. So derivative of y square is two y, and then derivative y is d by upon dx, and this side derivative of constant is zero. So we can get the value of d by upon dx as minus 2x upon 2y so its value comes out to be minus x upon y right so this is the way which we have adopted in especially in class 12 problems where we are using the uh, concept of derivative of implicit function but here we are going to use the concept of partial derivative so how can we differentiate here so let us consider the concept so here we are using the concept of total derivative so our given function is f of x y equal to c so here we are going to differentiate we are using the definition of total derivative that df is equal to and derivative of constant is zero so what is the definition of total derivative here because here function depend upon two variables so df is equal to curly f upon curly x dx plus curly f upon curly y dy because your function depend upon two variables and because right hand side is zero so i'm substituting it equal to zero so from here it means that here i'm using the notation of partial derivative curly f upon curly x with f with subscript x and curly f upon curly y as f with subscript y right so here, so curly f upon curly x means fx dx, and this is fy dy equal to zero. So from here, we can get the value of dy upon dx as 
this is fx dx is equal to minus of fy dy. So from here, we can get the value of dy upon dx as minus of f of x upon f of y. So this is the formula of dy upon dx. Similarly, if I want to calculate dx upon dy, it means that it is simply the reciprocal. So what is dx upon dy? This is equal to minus of fy upon fx. So the simple way to learn this formula is if I want to calculate dx upon dy, x is in the numerator, then f of x is in the denominator and f of y is in the numerator. And if I want to calculate dy upon dx, then here y is in the numerator, x is in the denominator means f of x is in the numerator and f of y is in the denominator with negative sign, of course. So dy, fy in the denominator, dx, fx in the numerator. So now this is the case if your function depend upon two variables. And if your function depend upon three variables, say f of x, y, z equal to c. So what can we do? Again, we use the concept of total derivative. So what about df? df is equal to zero. So if I use here the definition of total derivative, now this time your function depend upon three variables. So this is curly f upon curly x dx plus curly f upon curly y dy plus curly f upon curly z dz. This is equal to zero because df is equal to zero. So now, <coughs> Because in case of two variables, we are going to assume one of the variable as a dependent variable and other two variables as independent, right? Like in case of partial derivative, we used to calculate curly z upon curly x, assuming y as a constant, curly z upon curly y, assuming x as a constant, or curly y upon curly z, assuming x as a constant, right? When we have a three variables, we are calculating derivative with respect to one of the variable and treating other variable as a constant right so in this case let us suppose that i want to find out derivative of z with respect to x or y so firstly if i want to calculate curly z upon curly x i am assuming y as a constant so if y is constant so if i'm assuming y as a constant so it means that dy is zero if y is constant, then dy is zero. So what we left with? So this we have fx dx. This is zero, and here we have fz dz equal to zero. So this expression is similar to the this expression, right? fx dx plus f by dy equal to zero. So what is the value of dz upon dx? So it is the same like this one. If z is in the numerator x is in the denominator then fx in the numerator and fz in the denominator but in this case because we have assumed here y as a constant so this derivative now converted into partial derivative so basically this is curly z upon curly x at constant y so what is curly z upon curly x at constant y it is minus of f of x upon f of z so it means formula is same right and if i assume x as a constant if x is a constant, it means that we have dx is 0. And dx is 0 in this formula. It means this whole term is 0. So we have a two term. That is fy dy plus fz dz equal to 0. So we can get the value of dz upon dy as minus of f of y upon fz. But this time we are treating x as a constant. So this is the partial derivative of z with respect to y assuming x as a constant. So what is the formula here? So in general, we can write all the formulas here as, so like in this case, I can say, if I want to find out curly z upon curly x at constant y, so basically I need these two derivatives, z and x. So it is minus f of x upon f of z. And if we want to calculate curly z upon curly y, then this is at constant x, so it is minus of f of y upon f of z. Similarly, if we need y with respect to z at constant x, then this is minus f of z 
that upon f of y and y with respect to x. <coughs> constant that this is minus f of x upon f of y. y is in the denominator, x is in the numerator. y is in the denominator, z is in the numerator. And what about x with respect to z? This is minus f of z upon f of x. And x with respect to y at constant z, this is minus of f of y, f of Okay, so I think that it is easy to remember with this formula in case of derivative of implicit function, right? Okay, let us practice uh, some problem based on this particular concept. So the first question is, find dy upon dx where x power y plus y raised to power x equal to alpha. So generally when we are given the problem in the examination, it is not mentioned there that either your function is implicit or explicit function. Explicit function is where it is already given that y is the function of x. This is called the explicit form of a function. But you can see here we are given the variables x power y plus y power x. So in this case, it is not possible to separate the two variables. It is not possible to express x as a function of y or y as a function of x. So in this case, we can use the derivative of implicit function, right? So what is our f of x, y here? So here, our function f of x, y is x power y plus y power x, right? So because here our representation of function is f of x, y equal to constant. So now we need dy upon dx. So what is the formula of dy upon dx? Using derivative of implicit function, so this is equal to minus of f of x, x is in the denominator, on f of y because y is in the numerator. It means that firstly I need to find out partial derivative of function with respect to x and with respect to y, right? So what is the fun derivative of function with respect to x? So when we are differentiating with respect to x, we are treating y as a constant, right? So when y is a constant, so it means that x raised to the power y is like derivative of x power n. So what is the derivative of x power n when n is constant? It is n times x power n minus 1. And what is the derivative of a power x? This is a power x times log of a. So what is the derivative of x power y? So this is y times x power y minus 1. And what is the derivative of y power x? Because y is treated as constant, so it is like a power x. This derivative is y power x times log of y. Right? Similarly, the derivative of x power y plus y power x with respect to y. So when we are differentiating with respect to y, then x is treated as a constant. So if x is constant, so x power y is like a power y. So what is the derivative? It is x power y log of x and derivative y power x is x times y power x minus 1. <coughs> so here also you can see your function is symmetric. That means if I interchange x with y, again your function is same. Because if I interchange x with y, so what is f of y x? This is y raised to power x plus x raised to power y, which is same as f of x y. So in this case, one of the derivatives is known. Curly f upon curly x is known. So I can find out curly f upon curly y by interchanging x with y. Okay. So because both the derivatives are known, so what is dy upon dx? This is minus of y x raised to the power y minus 1 plus y raised to power x log of y on x raised to the power y log of x plus x into y raised to power x minus 1. So this is how we can find out the derivative of an implicit function. Simple. OK, now let us consider the another problem. Now this time, we are considering a function of three variables, x cubed, 3xy, 2y squared, 3xz, z squared. Now in this case again, 
This time we need to find out curly z upon curly x and curly z upon curly y. But again, these two term containing z, so it means that it is not possible to separate z as a function of x and y. It is not possible to express it in this way. So again, it is like a problem of an implicit function. So what is our f of x, y, z here? So here, f of x, y, z is x cube plus 3xy minus 2y square plus 3xz plus z square. Right? Because even if I take z common from these two terms, so what do we get? We get 3x plus z times z equal to 0. And rest of the term is a function of x and y. So again, it is not possible to separate here. So it means that this is a, an implicit function. Right? So now what do we need? We need curly z upon curly x, constant y. So according to the derivative of implicit function, this is minus of z is in the numerator, x is in the denominator. So in the reciprocal x in the numerator, z is in the denominator. And what about curly z upon curly y? y is in the numerator and z is in the denominator. So we need the derivative of function with respect to x, with respect to y, and with respect to z. So let us firstly calculate curly f upon curly x. So this is curly by curly x of x cube, 3xy, 2y square, plus 3xz, plus z square. So when we are differentiating with respect to x, then y and z are treated as constant. So derivative of x cube is 3x square, 3 and y is constant, derivative of x is 1, 2 y square is constant, derivative is 0, 3 z is constant, derivative of x is 1, z square is constant, derivative is 0. So what is fx? 3 x square plus 3 y plus 3 z. Similarly, what is the derivative function with respect to y? This is curly by curly y of x cube, 3xy, 2y square, 3xz plus z square. So when we differentiate with respect to y, then x and z are constant. So derivative of x cube, 0. 3x constant. Derivative of 2y squared is 4y. Both the terms are constant, z square is constant. So its value is 3x minus 4y. And if we differentiate f with respect to z, then this is curly by curly z of x cube, 3xy, 2y square, 3xz plus z square. So derivative of x cube is 0 because we are differentiating with respect to z, then x and y both are constant. So all the first three terms containing x and y only, so their derivative is 0, but 3x is constant, derivative z is 1, and derivative z square is 2z. So what is fz? So 3x plus 2z. So all the three derivatives are known, substituting here in this formula, so we can get curly f, z upon curly x as minus of fx 3x square plus 3y plus 3z upon fz fz is 3x plus 2z and what is curly z upon curly y minus of fy 3x minus 4y and fz is 3x plus 2z. So this is the solution of this problem. <coughs> right? Okay, let us consider one more. Okay, this time again we are given function cos of xy plus cos of yz plus cos of zx because here these variables are in angle of cosine. So again, two term containing z, two term containing x, two term containing y. So that again, it is not possible to separate the variables. 
So it is a problem of an implicit function. So firstly, we are going to differentiate them with respect to x, y, and z because we need with respect to x and with respect to y also. So curly f upon curly x. When we are differentiating with respect to x, we are treating y and z as a constant. So here we are going to use the first chain rule. What is the first chain rule? If z is the function of u and u is the function of x and y. So what is the derivative of z with respect to x? f dash u curly u upon curly x. The derivative of cos is minus sign and derivative of xy with respect to x is y. Now cos y z depend upon y and z only so its derivative is 0. Derivative cos zx is minus of sine zx into derivative zx with respect to x is it means this is minus of y sine of xy plus z sine of zx. Right? So this is fx. Similarly, we can find out fy. And in this time also, your function is pairwise symmetric. It means if I interchange x with y, x with y, then your function is again same. And x with z, your function is same. So I can also calculate the derivative with respect to y by interchanging x with y only. But let us firstly differentiate. So now this time, what is the derivative cos xy with respect to y? So firstly, apply chain rule. Derivative cos is minus sine of xy into derivative of xy with respect to y is Derivative of cos y z is minus of sine y z. And derivative of y z with respect to y is z. Its derivative is 0. So you can see here, if I replace here y with x, so it is x, y with x, same, x with y, then z sine y z. Okay? So we can get the formula. <coughs> Sorry. Now last is the derivative function with respect to z. Again, derivative of cos is 0. Derivative of cos is minus of sine yz and derivative of yz is y. And derivative of cos is again minus sine. And derivative of zx with respect to z is x. This is minus of y times sine yz plus x times sine zx. So all the three derivatives are not. So substituting their value in the formula. What is cardi z upon cardi x? By derivative formula of implicit function, z is in the numerator and x is in the denominator. So f of x in the numerator, f of z in the denominator. So it is minus of, minus sine get cancelled out, y sine of xy plus z sine of zx upon minus of x sine of, sorry, y sine of yz plus x sine of zx. This is the value of curly z upon curly x at constant y. And similarly, curly z upon curly y at constant x is minus of f of y upon f of z. So minus of minus of f of y. x sine xy plus z sine of yz upon minus of y sine of yz plus x sine of zx. 
So one negative sign get cancel out. So its answer is negative here also. So we can consider it as negative plus minus minus. So this is how we can calculate the derivative of an implicit function. Either your function depend upon two variable or three variable. Okay. So this is a small video where we have discussed only the derivative of an implicit function. So you can practice some more problems from this particular part and still if you find out any doubt, you can post your query. I'll try to provide you the solution of the same. For the timing, thank you.